Hello, Bigfoot enthusiasts. Scott here from Squatch America. And Hannah, domestic goddess, chief cook, and doggy mama outside. Outside today. Outside of the paddy wagon. Where are we, honey? We are sitting on a bench. But not, but not just any old bench. This is a memorial bench. A memorial bench to the greatest radio talk show host in human history. In human history, yeah. Possibly in alien history too. That too. Because not only is this a bench, this is a bench dedicated to the one, the only, the great Art, Art Bell. Bell. If you're not familiar with Art Bell, you where have you been all your life? Come out from under your rock. Yeah. <laughs> he had one of the greatest late night radio talk shows of all time because it was unscripted. He he did not have screeners for the call-in show. And anything was open for debate. He talked about government cover-up, men in black. Aliens, dogmen, werewolves, vampires, uh, Satan. Satan. If you're Satan, please call 1 800 blah blah blah. Yes. <laughs> he would talk to you about anything. And one of the greatest shows, I think, in my memory is when he played the sounds and it shocked me to death. I remember it vividly. I was driving a truck. And I was listening to Art Bell late at night, and he said there was a, I believe it was a Russian company was drilling the deepest hole in the world, and they hit hell, and they stuck a microphone down there, and, and uh, this is what it sounded like. It has always haunted me. To those who discounted the Siberia sounds from Hell's story, it is true. And I, for one, wish it wasn't. And so I submit now the cleaned, uh, a better copy to you. And uh, I warn you, what you are about to hear is very disturbing indeed. <laughs> And then Hannah's favorite show was? Where was my favorite show? I always liked the shows where Satan called in. That was fun. Um, I was always amused by those, but I don't know if I had a singular favorite show. I do have a favorite memory, though. Okay. So, picture this. 27-year-old, very sheltered, very innocent young woman marries the Neanderthal there. Anyway, that's another story for another time. But um, our very first night sharing a bed after we did all of our due diligence, wink, wink, um, turned off the light and I turned over to go to sleep. And all of a sudden, what was his, fa what was his famous line? broadcasting from the land of the kingdom of Nye and all of a sudden I am listening to this this crazy weird talk show unlike anything I'd ever heard and that was my introduction to our evening routine always involved going to sleep to Art Bell and most of the stuff that Art Bell talked about I'd never heard of in my life and so Mr. Bell from whatever dimension you are listening from I blame you 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 are the reason why now I am convinced of aliens and and Bigfoot and all the things. Um, thank you so much. You've given me a rich and multi-dimensional existence. 
Yeah, and speaking of the kingdom of Nye, I always wondered why he would, he, every night he would say, broadcasting from the kingdom of Nye. And now we know. Now we know. We are in Pahrump, Nevada, and it is in Nye County, uh, Nevada, and the radio station call signs is Nye. K N Y E. <laughs> Kingdom of, of Nye. Nye. So my understanding, we had lunch or we had dinner with a friend last night um, who retired here and she knew Art Bell uh, personally and she said that Art Bell was one of the greatest philanthropists, greatest supporters of community and nonprofit work, um, really, really had a heart to help people and, and it was his broadcast that enabled him to do that. Yep. So, we dedicate this video to the memory of the greatest radio talk show host of all time, Art Bell. That damn Sasquatch. <laughs>